SSTV or slow scan television is a mode that allows you to transmit and receive images over ham radio in analog form. There is a digital form of SSTV, but we're not going to cover that in this video. It's a very viable way of making two-way contacts between two amateur radio operators and sharing some information and cool pictures along the way. The system is actually quite robust and as a matter of fact, you can actually uh, send and receive images without the need of an audio interface. Really the only thing that you need is a audio output on your radio and an audio input. That means you can actually take your speaker mic from your radio, key down, play the sound of the SSTV transmission and it will get over just fine. You can also play the playback, someone uh, sending one to you into your mic and it will uh, display the image on screen. So of course you're gonna get better results if you do have an audio interface. And today I'm gonna be showing you an example with an audio interface. But the point is, SSTV is a very viable way of making contacts, two-way contacts with other amateur radio operators around the world. And those images are quite robust, the signal is nice and it can get out. The ISS actually periodically transmits SSTV images. I've done videos in the past where I've decoded those images just using my cell phone with an audio recorder and a $30 Baofeng. You can uh, check that video out below if you're interested. So in this video, I'm going to show you exactly what you need to know and how to set up the software to start making two-way contacts using SSTV images and a few tricks along the way to kind of help you get started and to make it a little easier. So let's go ahead and get into it. Alright, so the first thing you're going to do is download a piece of software known as MMSSTV and I'll provide the link below uh, for that download, but the installation is super simple. You just go to the website here and then you click on the link. It will install or it will download. You just double click the executable and you'll be able to install it from there. I already have it on my computer so I'm not going to install it again, but once you do, um, the next step we're going to do is just go ahead and open it up. At this point, you already want to have your radio on and your audio interface connected. Real quick, what audio interface means is just that you have a sound card connected with your computer through your radio. So you have a microphone in and an audio out uh, both ways with your radio because that's what we're going to use to receive SSTV images. Alright, so once you have the application downloaded, just go ahead and double click to start it and you're going to be presented with a screen kind of like this right here. So the first thing you want to do is just go ahead and set up your settings. So you're going to go to File, actually op Options, and you're going to go to set up MMSSTV and it's going to bring up a window right here. So there's a few settings that you probably want checked here and once you get a little more advanced you can uh, mess around with these a little bit more. But you want auto slant, auto resync, and auto restart uh, more than likely checked. And uh, moving on to the next tab TX, uh, this is your push to talk port. If you are using push to talk um, you can select your COM port there. However I'm using Vox on my radio so I won't be using push to talk. Uh, your digital output level is something that you'll want to adjust. So basically, uh, if you've ever used any type of digital mode, you pretty much know that how automatic level control can uh, affect your uh, transmission. It makes it uh, dirty. So what this will allow you to do here is, is pretty much a volume adjusted. Because we're using amplitude modulation, uh, the louder a signal is, uh, the, the stronger it is. Well, your radio can only put out so much power. So if you overdrive that, your automatic level control will kick in and it will distort your image. So you want to adjust this meter here so that your ALC on your radio is not kicking in, but you're still max, uh, you're outputting the max amount of power that you would like for the transmission. So that's something you'll adjust later. The music tab, uh, this is something you want to pay attention to. This is for your sound card in and out. I have a dedicated sound card for my radio, so I'll be using that. Uh, so I've selected my sound card there, and once that's done, you'll hit OK. And uh, if everything's working well and your radio's on, you should start seeing some stuff here in the waterfall. So the next thing you want to do is make sure that your radio is tuned to 14.230. There are other uh, SSTV frequencies, and I'm going to list those right now on the screen. However, the 20 meter frequency of 14.230 is going to be your highest success rate of getting and receiving that SSTV transmission just because it's the most popular frequency to use. You can go on the other bands and listen and try to transmit and call CQ and see what you can do, but your highest rate of success at this moment is going to be on 14.230. So once you're tuned there, uh, you should start seeing some stuff here on the waterfall. And 
Well, so I'm going to walk you through the steps of the program here just before we get started, just to get you really familiar with how this works. So Rx, as you're receiving an image, this is where the image is going to come in at, and it's going to decode in real time. Your Rx mode, more than likely, wants to be set to auto. This right here will automatically determine what mode the transmission is uh, transmitting, what mode it is that it's transmitting at, and it will automatically select it for you. Um, you can also go to your history and you can go through and see all the images that you've decoded with SSTV. And those will stay there. You can clear them out if you like, but it kind of helps if you uh, need to log something or you need to go back and see something. You always have those to go back to. So your TX tab is just that. So this is right here is where you're actively transmitting. All right, so once you're in this tab, you can select what mode you would like to transmit at. Now I've had the most success view in Scotty 1. That's usually when I get the most replies and where I see my image uploaded on the web. There are some other modes here that you can experiment around with, but Scotty 1 seems to be the one that works for me. So down here you'll see your TX button. Once you're ready to transmit, you hit this button here and your radio will start transmitting the image. Uh, depending on what mode you use, it does take longer or shorter um, to send the image. Your template tab. So this is kind of cool. This is where you can actually make your own SSTV template uh, so you're not fumbling around and making a, a new image every single time that you do a transmission. So here uh, on the bottom, I can select different um, templates that I've saved to my computer. I can also uh, say I have one for uh, my two call. I have that template. So I can right click here, load from file, and it'll pull up the uh, directory they're saved at and it is my answer. So that will automatically pull that up, which it already is. So say if I want to modify my CQ template before I TX. So that, this right here is it basically right now. So I can double click on this. I can move this around if I like. I can, I can move it up. And then once I'm ready and I, once I'm happy with it, I can right click it and hit save to file and then hit all. And here I would name this something along along the lines of my TQ template and then hit save and then whenever I want to retrieve that I can just uh, right click down here load from file and find my CQ template and it will automatically load it in so you can load different templates and stuff like that and do different images so if I wanted to select a new image uh, background image I can right click here and I can hit load from file and it's going to pull up my images folder, which I have on the side. And then I can select a new image. So we can go back and I'll choose this image of my FT3DR, for example. So once it's there, I select it and I hit OK. And there we go. There's my image. And uh, I can do that between transmissions. And uh, so that's pretty cool. So you'll notice in a template, it says to call. This right here will actually be replaced with whatever call you put in here. Uh, if you double click on it, it's going to pull up um, your text and you can change it and add drop shadows and that type of thing. This right here is a, uh, a macro. So there's a list of macros and they pretty much all come from data from your computer or stuff that you've put in. So if you want to automatically put somebody's name in there, you can have the macro for their name. And as long as you have something typed in here, it'll pop up there. So call, I'll put example in. So as you can see it changed it to example so how this is going to go is I'm going to load my CQ template I'm going to transmit it over the air then I'm going to wait patiently if I can get a receive image then at that point then I'll get their call sign I'll type in uh, their call sign here and uh, I would if I would like I can set, select a new image and then I'll transmit that image to say Hey, this is your signal report. Uh, I'm at grid Echo Mary 77. My name's Billy. So I pretty much saying yes, I heard you. They'll send something like that back, and then I can load up my 73 template and transmit that over the air, and uh, or they'll transmit theirs over the air depending on who called first, and uh, then I can log it in my logging program, and uh, that's a SSTV contact. So let's see if we can make one. All right, so you may be wondering why I'm wearing a hat now. And well, that's, that's because I'm bald. It's all gone. I was activated for uh, State uh, National Guard active duty for the uh, 
human malware going on outside. Relief. Uh, so yeah, I'll be wearing a hat for a little while. Anyways, let's go ahead and try to make a contact. So I've been at this, uh, trying this out for a little while now, trying to make another contact. Uh, I'm going to change my CQ banner and TX that and see if we can't get out there. Alright! That looks like they're calling me. That font's pretty funky. Hopefully they didn't write their call sign in that. But there we go. There's our image coming back. Foxtrot for C. Oh, there we go. Foxtrot for CYH. There we go. So let's go ahead and TX back to him and let's see if we can make that contact. So we'll see where he's coming out of and let's see if it's popping up here too. So our image popped up. So he right here, he just made a contact with somebody. Uh, let's see, Foxtrot for CYH. France. Wow, really? That is pretty cool. Hopefully he gets my image. He could probably barely read it, but let's see. Yeah, I mean, he's from France. So we are getting an image back and forth from France. The receive end's looking a little blurry. It's because someone's talking on the frequency. You can literally hear somebody on the other side, man. So there it's his QTH. Julie, November 2, 6, BH. That is awesome. Alright, so let's go ahead and just full TBEX, TX back, and uh, since he's from France, we can personalize this a little bit, and we can just TX that as is. And that right there, I mean, you can add more little personal touches, I just thought that was kind of cool, uh, since it is a little DX, uh, we can just put, you know, US in there or whatever. But that is, uh, that is pretty neat. That is pretty neat. So anyways, that's been a, uh, <clears throat> a log SSTV contact, and uh, I didn't expect to get one uh, DX over the, uh, the ocean, but that's super cool. I'm really excited about that. And I want to thank everybody for watching, and uh, I really implore you to try this out, because this is a really cool mode. It's really fun. And just be able to uh, transmit pictures back and forth adds a little bit more personal uh, personalization to your your contacts that you couldn't get normally. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. And just uh, if you don't mind, please hit that subscribe button, if, especially if you like my content. Uh, I am continuing this QSO. It looks like with this individual, he may be wondering. Uh, oh, he's he's transmitting back. I'll show you guys this real quick before I go. He's just transmitting back the QSO data to make sure we get everything logged correctly. Because uh, that was super cool. And he's saying uh, 73. and uh, So that's super cool. Anyways, thank you guys so much. Hit that subscribe button if you want to see more content like this. Uh, I'll definitely be doing more. And I uh, appreciate everything you all have for me.